All right, I've brought the pine out here to the garage, which is going to be the molding around the opening into the storage area upstairs where we're putting that barn door. I've got a couple of sawhorses set up there and I've got these two machines that we're going to be using here shortly. I've already gone ahead and measured out a couple of measurements on the larger pieces of pine here. This is what's going on the inside of the opening uh, that you're going to see when you uh, slide the door open. And then these smaller width pieces here are going to be the framing around the outside. And we are going to go ahead and paint those white to match the windows because it's gonna be more like a, a framed door opening. And then the actual barn door will be the same color as the flooring that's up there. So it's going to be a really nice contrast when it's put up. So that's what we're getting ready to do. I've got to cut these down to size first. And then we're going to fit those into place. And then we'll paint those white. And then I'll come back and measure these after these pieces are in. Cut these down. And then we'll put those into place. But we are going to paint everything at once uh, after I cut these down and then I'll proceed to the other one. So going a little bit out of order, but that's okay. One of the things that I had to do here is fill in this little gap I had here. Uh, it was about half inch to a three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, depth coming out this way by seven eighths going from here to the end. So all I did was I used some of the scrap pieces of the hardwood flooring that I had left over actually found two pieces and they actually fit perfectly as you can see here all the way down to the bottom so much so that I even used the tongue and groove piece here on the end which was absolutely fantastic so that's going to fill in that gap that's going to allow me to put the molding on that we're going to be putting uh, on a side note we are going to be returning the three pieces of pine that we have that we were originally going to put on the outside here because the boss reminded me that we want to keep the framing of the opening the same as this molding here, which is on the windows and on the doors. Since that is basically a door opening, we want to keep the framing uh, the same. So what I'm going to do is, I've got that piece of pine sitting against the door over there the three pieces that we originally had, and I'm going to go back to the big box store and return those and just buy two more pieces of uh, eight foot pieces of the door frame because I have another piece that is left over from a previous door right here that's gonna go uh, on the top, which is sitting right there. So this is a good thing. We're gonna save a little bit of money, but at the same time, make it look correct too. So we are in a good spot. And as you can see, these are the three pieces that are going to go on the inside here. One here, one on top, and then one on the left side. We are getting the inside of the casing in for the opening here into the storage area. And it is going in very well, as you can see here. I've got one more piece that's sitting over here that we're going to put on the top here. A little bit of a chip off of the... I'm molding there, but you're not going to see that because the finished molding is going to sit on top of that. So let me show you what that's going to look like. This is just a scrap piece that I have, but essentially it's going to sit on top and uh, you won't even see it. So it'll be something like this. All right, so that's going to look great, but we've got this long piece that we just got done painting and we will finish that up here shortly. I'm going to put the other side on and then probably tomorrow we will cut this down the size and get the framing around that done and that will be completed. I've completed all of the molding around the barn door entrance into the storage area, including the casing that you can see on the inside of the door and it looks great. We were able to switch out the original pine that I was gonna use and stain and just replace it with the molding, which now matches this window, as you can see around the edges, and all of the rest of the doors that are in the house. So it's very consistent. And you'll notice up here on the top that the top of the casing is 
or very level. And that's significant because I'm gonna kind of use that as a guide when I place the bolts in for the railing that's gonna be used for the door that's gonna hang there. So it'll be somewhat of a guide. Uh, we'll also use the level, of course, to make sure that the, uh, the guide is straight and level. And then one thing you'll notice over here on this side, I actually had to splice some scrap pieces of molding that I had left over from the doors into two separate sections over here. We're gonna sand those down after those dry. I'm using that same spackling that I used on the windows to my right. And uh, the reason why I did the splicing is I didn't wanna uh, spend the money, so to speak, on just one eight foot piece of molding when I had all this extra left over and uh, just do it that way. Uh, the molding and wood prices have just gone through the roof. Uh, one eight foot piece is like $15, I believe. And I just couldn't justify it, even though it's just a few dollars to, to put that on here uh, for something you're not even going to see. And the reason we're not gonna see that is because when the door is sitting, covering the molding here, it's going to slide from left to right. So when it gets to the end here, it should either cover all of this or most of this uh, as part of the decor. And you won't even see those seams. So uh, didn't need to get the whole piece of molding for that. Uh, the next phase here is to actually start creating the door, which we are going to do in the next couple of days. I've got several pieces of wood in the garage left over that I can kind of piece together and probably get most, if not all of the door complete. I may need to buy a couple of pine pieces, but I'm just gonna put together a bunch of uh, wood that I have down there. It's all different species. So uh, we'll stain that up. I think it'll give it some really interesting characteristics and contrast once we get the stain on there with the different species. Uh, so that should look pretty nice, but we will uh, bring that up in another video because this one, we are going to be able to close out and move on to the next piece. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.